Alrighty, first thing in the morning, first thing I do is go to the bathroom, weigh myself, have a look at my conditioning, see how things are looking. Obviously, first thing in the morning, I'm going to look my flattest. So I never look at myself hoping to look the best I could possibly look because that typically happens later in the day after training, after getting you know, a few calories in, a few meals in. Um, but I like to weigh myself and then I write it down on a piece of paper and that'll then get moved over to a spreadsheet uh, just to keep track of everything. But today we are doing a full day of eating. So I didn't plan this ahead of time. I just decided the night before, hey, I'm going to record whatever I eat. Um, and just run you guys through a typical Friday or just a typical day in general. Um, so right here I'm starting my day with a coffee as I do. Many years ago as a bodybuilder I, I thought that I had to have just like black coffee and stevia and natural sweetener. You know like keeping artificial sweeteners down, keeping dairy out of my diet, you know things like that. Obviously, I'm a lot smarter now, smarter now, and I'm not worried about having dairy. I've got no issues with that at all. So I'll start my day most days with some skim milk in my coffee. Right now, I've got enough calories to allow for that. I would say, you know, as my diet goes on, if I want to focus on higher volume meals, um, you know, or reduced hunger, I might take out that skim milk. But for now. We're all good. So normally I'll do about 120 mils of skim milk, thereabouts, and then I'll uh, I'll do the Nespresso. I love Nespresso. It's my favorite favorite start to the day is to coffee is to have coffee. And I used to have you know just instant coffee years ago and like egg whites with cinnamon and oats with cinnamon and stevia and just like trying to find ways to make breakfast fun as a quote unquote clean eating bodybuilder or a contest prep focused bodybuilder. So now, you know, life, life is just so much better because I'm not limited to, you know, eating certain types of foods or eating at certain times as well. Many years ago, I used to make sure I'd eat every three hours. Um, now I'm not really fussed about that either. So I always start my day with a different coffee, different type. Uh, there's so many to choose from. I personally prefer to have the Longo or Lungo style where it's a bit bit more, I think it's stronger or it's just more coffee in general, but it's a bigger, bigger cup. This right here is just an espresso. So a shot. That right there is my, is my follow up meal to breakfast. So that would be my pre-workout meal for today, which is uh, chicken, sweet potato and veggies. Keep it nice and clean. That's a joke right there, but anyways, um, I prefer to prep my meals ahead of time. So like the chicken, sweet potato and veggies, I'll do like five of those in a, on a Monday or a Sunday and I'll just have like one per day over the week or I'll do that as well as chicken. What you guys are seeing right now is my chocolate collection and that's because I've been doing one chocolate per day uh, recently. Those chocolates, they aren't special. I was like, hey. There's got to be a reason to, or a way to have that in my diet. And I thought I'd just mix things up, make, make things a bit more exciting. So I'll have one chocolate per day this week, probably next week as well. You guys will see which chocolate I picked for today. Um, but you know, it just keeps things more fun. So majority of my diet is healthy, wholesome, minimally processed foods. But if I can fit in little fun things like that, it just makes life more enjoyable. You know, much like the skim milk is uh, way more enjoyable than just having a long black. But like with everything in life, you get used to whatever you're doing. So a lot of people out there will be like, you know, there's nothing wrong with just having a long black and that's because they're accustomed to it. There's nothing wrong with having egg whites for breakfast and oats. It's because they're accustomed to it. If you can have your oats and you can add berries and yogurt and peanut butter and honey and things like that, it's so much better. But anyways, I'm not doing that today. Just going ahead and having my quick oats, 100 grams of quick oats with a scoop of whey protein and some mixed berries. So you'll see that it's not exactly 100 grams. I'm not too fussed about measurements. Like I'm not, you know, OCD about it. If it's within one to three grams or so, life is all good. 
no stress in that regard. Um, at the end of the day, consistency is very important. Uh, but when, when foods are like within those couple of grams, it's all good. Sometimes I'll measure over a little bit. Sometimes I'll measure under. Now touching on the previous goal of eating every three hours and stuff like that, I used to legit like take days off work back in the day when I used to compete many, many years, like five, six years ago or six, seven years ago, I'd take days off work just so I could eat every three hours, which is kind of crazy. Um, and here I am getting in my Splenda, which is not Stevia, which is Splenda is an artificial sweetener. And I have little to no concern about using this. I don't have it all day, every day. Um, it's not, you know, I don't have an excessive consumption and I have not experienced any, you know, adverse, adverse effects from it. Um, you know, some people who take artificial sweeteners might experience a headache or something like that. It's a very, very small amount of people or that, uh, that experience that, but you know, for some that happens. So right here, I'm doing Victory Labs Hydro Complete Protein. Hydro Complete is hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. So essentially it's the highest quality whey protein you can get. And I uh, thought I'd show you guys my ramen raisin ice cream. If you live in Australia, I highly recommend that you try that ice cream from Coles. Light and creamies, you know, that's a staple. That's a low fat option. The ramen raisin is not a low fat option. But, you know, my focus right now is the mixed berries. Get that in. Great way to start your day. Normally, I'll do like, if I do 100 grams of oats, I'll normally do 100 grams of berries. If I do 200 grams of oats, normally I'll do 200 grams of berries. But uh, I find the strawberries are pretty heavy. So right here, I'm doing 200 grams of berries and uh, 100 grams of oats. So hydrolyzed whey vanilla is the best. Like I honestly, that's my favorite tasting vanilla protein that I've ever, ever tried. I was actually quite surprised when I first tried it, but the flavor systems or the flavor choices with the Victory Labs range is incredible. They've got chocolate peanut butter banana, which is one flavor, chocolate hazelnut. Um, this right here is the, the fat burner that I use, which I normally use pre-workout. Sometimes I'll use it first thing in the morning um, and I get my creatine in with my breakfast as well. So I used to do creatine pre-workout. At one point I was doing it post-workout, then I was doing it pre and post. Now I just do it for breakfast. Quick, easy, simple, and that's it. Uh, fish oil, this fish oil in particular is high in EPA and DHA, uh, which you know are the nutrients that we're looking for with fish oil. So when you get your fish oil, try to get one that's high in, that, in those nutrients. Um, and here is Native Greens. Native Greens is a superfood complex, so it's called. Really, it's 29 ingredients, micronutrients, you know, extracts. It's going to give me a wider range of nutrients in case I don't get, you know, a lot in my day. Typically, we like to, uh, we're creatures of habit, so we normally eat the same fruits, vegetables on a daily basis and foods as well, whether we're doing clean eating or whatever. So it's nice to, you know, get that little wider spectrum of nutrients in first thing in the morning when I start my day. It's got acai, goji and all those type of foods that are high on the auric uh, level as well. Alrighty, meal number one was oats, protein powder, berries, skim milk in my coffee and fish oil, multivitamin, native greens and calcium, vitamin D as well. Meal number two, actually I just got a haircut, so that immediately makes me look leaner. So that's a, that's a, like a, a tip right there. Two ways to uh, appear leaner without losing body fat. One, get a haircut. Two, get a tan. Three reasons. The third one, find some overweight, less attractive, less appealing friends. And uh, instantly you look leaner. But anyways, that's kind of just a joke. But meal number two, it's gonna be my pre-workout meal showed it to you guys earlier right here preparation is key when you are prepared don't think too much yeah that's bright right there that has been in this fridge for like six months or longer so is this Pepsi Max but anyways it's not for me it's for friends and family and whatever else if it's still good not too sure but right now I've got 160 grams of chicken 
300 grams, 200 grams of sweet potato, 150 grams of vegetables. So anytime I have chicken, sweet potato and vegetables, which is typically every day, I like to prep them like, you know, five days ahead of time to have one or two meals like that per day, sometimes with steak um, instead of chicken. I always, almost always add some tomato salsa. Um, so as you can see, I'm pretty low on that right now, but there's more in the cupboard. Uh, tomato salsa is pretty low in calories. It definitely adds some good flavor, mixes things up a bit. And if I'm not doing salsa, I would do mustard, which is also very low calorie. And then moving higher up in terms of calories and carbs, barbecue sauce. I've also been adding a lot of salt to my meals lately trying to get my sodium intake up. I find that I get more vascular by doing that. My weight is also more stable on a daily basis, which I think can be important in terms of, you know, mindset and just knowing that, you know, the less fluctuations to your body weight, the better. So that was my pre-workout meal. And this right here is my pre-workout supplement. So Victory Lab Zenovar, which is actually a fat burner. Um, you know, or thermogenic more than anything as an appetite suppressant. Uh, but I take it pre-workout because it's got caffeine basically. So it's going to give me that energy that I need. It tastes amazing too. And it also helps with your mood and your mental focus. So, you know, there are some key ingredients in Zenovar that do all of those things. You can learn more about it at victorylabs.com, potentially.au. I'm pretty sure it's just victorylabs.com. But I do two scoops. It's a one scoop serve. So you're meant to do it like you're meant to do one scoop before breakfast, one scoop before lunch. But I just do two scoops together and I just do that before I train. It helps me to sweat as well. So, you know, definitely gets my heart rate up nice and focused. And what I'll do is I'll add some Gatorade to that to add some more sodium, electrolytes, carbohydrates. You know, and just ensure that my workout is ideal. I don't always add the Gatorade. It really depends on what my pre-workout meal was, um, you know, and, and also my level of hydration and how much salt that I've had earlier in the day. But I'll mix those two together, which tastes great as well. And uh, this right here, actually, I'm going to show you guys a little collection of hazelnut lint spread, which I've, both of them were gifts, and I actually haven't really eaten too much of it. Of course, I had to get the selfie before I started training. Um, hit up a good workout today. I'll probably share it with you guys in a video coming soon. And this right here is my post-workout meal. Now, post-workout, obviously, I'm going to do the Hydro Complete, given that it's the fastest digesting, you know, highest quality whey protein isolate you can get. Um, so just getting that in straight away. I'm not too fussed about the anabolic window or getting nutrients in ASAP or anything like that. But to be honest, like if you want to, two things you want to have post-workout, one's protein, you know, amino acids, and uh, one second is hydration. So if you can do that through, you know, whey protein isolate and water, then why not? This right here is the chocolate for today. I chose caramel koala because it's lower in fat. Um, and just lower in total calories compared to a full chocolate bar, which basically just allowed for a more enjoyable, more exciting meal later in the evening. I was also in a rush, so I had to just go with whatever was really fast, get that in nice and easy before I had to go get a massage. Now this was what I was saving my calories for today. And I thought about doing two burgers today. This right here is grilled. This is a sweet chili chicken burger. I uh, thought about doing two burgers, but I wanted to hold back. Um, you know, when you're in a contest prep phase, the more you can, you know, the more you can control and manage, the better. Now, I can't exactly say that the nutrients there are accurate and everything's on point. So, I wanted to make sure that I just limit my uh, my guesstimated calories to just one burger. And this right here was the final meal meal of the day, which would have been two burgers, right? But I decided to save those calories, measure things accurately, and uh, went ahead and had two eggs, some steak, mushrooms, salad, and then for dessert, this right here. The highlight of the day, potentially. Friday's a movie night, so, you know, Netflix night, and you don't want to be sitting there eating chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, or anything like that. So thought about popcorn, decided to go with the... Uh, the cookies and cream ice cream, which I kind of promised myself this morning, 250 grams. That's a nice amount. 
a real nice amount of carbohydrates really low in fat still that right there is a pre-movie snack and then this was how I finished today pretty much the same way I started today so got my skim milk in decided to have a coffee you see here that I actually go under the target on there so like you know it was meant to be 120 or whatever so I go under I go over here and there no big no big deal um, so that was my coffee for the evening enjoyed a movie a little bit of Netflix and chill and that is a full day of eating as a flexible dieter in a contest rep phase around 11 weeks out from my first show.